Update 150 is a relatively small update. Um, it only really brings a few quality of life improvements and a few small additions to the game. Um, but that being said, there is still quite a bit of stuff to go over in this update, um, despite most of the changes being pretty minor. Um, the first thing and probably the biggest part of this update is the fact that you can now go ahead and in your journal sort your quest to go ahead and find the quest you want easier. Um, there's qu quite a lot of different options. You have the screen button which allows you to go ahead and switch what way it's sorted. Um, so you can sort by world, type, um, name of the NPCs, and also by um, how much you have completed. Uh, the orange buttons will go ahead and let you filter which ones you see, so if you want to, you can only have the ones for your current world visible. Um, and then the reset, in, reset button will go ahead and reset what you can see, so you can go ahead and display everything. Um, that is the main part of the update. It's pretty self-explanatory, um, and will hopefully help people be able to find the quest that they want easier. Um, there's also a few other smaller changes in the back end that we aren't going to worry about. Um, but another big part of this update um, that I think a lot of people are probably going to miss is the fact that now stuff in your inventory are now going to be able to be sorted by level. Um, so rather than trying to find um, what level 15 stuff you have, you can now go ahead, sort by level, and be able to find all these max stuff that you have. Um, additionally, if you aren't sorting by level, let's say you're sorting by rarity like normal, um, all the pets if you have like a billion of one pet, uh, you'll now be able to find the ones that are higher level first. So right now I have a lot of purples. Before they'd be randomly placed, uh, but now all the ones higher level are right at the front. So you can find them more easily. Um, on that, there's a few small changes. There's new stuff in the store, which are pretty cool. Um, I think it is just dynamite carrot for now, um, but two more coming next week. Um, and then additionally, there will be, um, I think a few other small bug fixes. One of the funnier ones is that there are no longer invisible walls over here in Block City, so you aren't going to be able to get stuck on these anymore, which makes it quite a bit nicer. Um, anyways, um, that's it, I think, for the quality of life stuff. Um, there is one other small feature that was added, and that is going to be over in Ghost World. Uh, and as many of you guys could probably guess, or that have seen the update, there's now a new classified that's been added to the board crate in Ghost World. So, board crate 4 now has a classified. Um, and many people have already gone ahead and unboxed it. We might even join someone who's unboxing it currently. Um, it's a fairly simple thing. We might even be able to get it really quickly on this video. Um, but it finishes up a crate that was uh, previously missing one. Um, so yeah, right over here in the board crate. Over here we have board crate 4. We have a nice classified. Um, and I'll go ahead and see if I can unbox that really quick. Anyways, um, I was not able to actually get it, which, you know, isn't super surprising. It is uh, classified, um, and I'm not spending that much time unboxing right at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool board. There is already information on it on the wiki, so I'll go ahead and post a picture from there real quick. Um, so it, it's a decent looking board. I think it's better than some of the other classified boards that we have, like specifically Glowjet um, and uh, Oblivion, I think, are pretty bad ones. So, um, but... Um, Anyways, uh, yeah, that, I think that's it for this update. It's a pretty quality of life focused update. Um, as I've said before in previous videos, um, it is a new dev team, including myself. So uh, a lot of it was just learning how to do go similar stuff, not as much uh, on adding a whole bunch of new features immediately. Um, but yeah, other than that, it should help people be able to find sort quests easier and also um, sort their inventories a little bit better with the level stuff. Um, anyways, hopefully you guys are enjoying the updates. If you guys have any feedback on this updates or on Go Similar in general, uh, feel free to leave comments in this video. Um, I do read them, and um, as a developer, I will be able to go ahead and maybe make a difference if you guys have really good suggestions or other feedback that you want to share about the game. Um, I'll hopefully be making one of these videos on every single update, so you got, you guys can go ahead and stay up to date with what's going on in Ghost Simulator. Um, and share anything that you guys want to share about updates um with that being said hopefully you guys enjoy these type of videos um i as i said i do plan on doing them every update so every two weeks um and yeah uh i will see you guys uh probably either if you watch my ghost sim content um next monday for hard mode or if you don't watch regularly never because uh for whatever reason youtube decided to recommend you a video that you guys have no idea why you watch the end of um so bye